It's got Miyazaki. Says there's a high possibility that he delegates directing the future Souls games. Jordan Miller over VGC. Oh, Speaking no. That's <laughs> Get ready. This is where things can go real wrong. Speaking Dark of Souls IGN. 2 sequel inbound. <laughs> well, let's get into the article. Speaking of IGN, Miyazaki said there's, quote, is a high possibility that we would delegate the responsibility of director to those other Souls-ish games going forward, end quote. He continued, quote, I think it's very likely that we'll see new directors going forward. And I think if we do that, I'd like to step away from the supervisor role and give them full direction and full control over those projects. I think really this is the best way and the easiest way for them to flourish within the environment and with those new projects, end quote. So far, the only original Souls project that Miyazaki hasn't directed is Dark Souls 2. While Dark Souls 2 was met with mixed reactions from players, Scott, Miyazaki looks back on it fondly. Quote, in regards to Dark Souls 2, I actually personally think this was a really great project for us, and I think without it, we wouldn't have had a lot of the connections and a lot of the ideas that went forward and carried the rest of the series. End quote. Dark Souls 2 implemented a semi-open world sections that would form the basis for much of the level design in FromSoftware's seminal Elden Ring. Quote, dude, Elden Ring is just a small title. I don't know what he's talking about. Quote, <laughs> we were able to have the different empty... The what different M2s yep, and have those different ideas of, uh, make Don't those see that one often. no caught me right off guard <laughs> make those different <laughs> connections that we otherwise might not have had end quote he concluded it was announced on Wednesday that Elden Ring's first expansion Shadow of the Erd Tree will release in June Shadow of the Erd Tree will introduce a new story a fresh world to explore and a deeper RPG features according to Bandai Namco Players will require the base game to play the expansion. Get ready for the Erd Tree, Scott. It's coming. But does this make you nervous going forward with Souls-ish games coming out of Bandai Namco and from software? Uh, it doesn't exactly make me worried anymore because there's a huge amount of lessons taken from Dark Souls 2, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And the main changes were the, the map design and some of the different shortcuts, the way things were intricate in Dark Souls 1 but not in 2. It was a little bit of a different direction, exactly that. But yeah. I think that's um, well learned and could work forward in another sequel because there is just a diversity of opinion when it comes to Dark Souls games. If we keep getting the same team making the same Dark Souls games, eventually we just get the same repeating kind of thing. And Dark Souls yep. 2 was a little bit of shoddy on the boss fights. There was just some things that just didn't come together right. But I think this is still a great FromSoft development company. They're still going to create amazing games. And there's something interesting. He says Souls-ish games going forward. <clears throat> I wonder if that was just a blanket term for Souls-likes, Bloodborne and the like, or Elden if Ring. this is something a little bit more like a, a Sekiro. Okay. Something yeah, about a, a sidestep, but um, well, makes... I think a lot of the issues with Dark Souls 2, like I said, have been addressed by now that Elden Ring has shown that that's not really a thing anymore, those problems. Which is fair, right? And I think they're trying to open up a little bit of that Souls-ish feel. And making it more accessible. That's what they said. Elden Ring is the most accessible game they've ever made. Dude, I still found it very, very challenging. Just not my style, right? At the end of the day. But it is one of those things I look at and watch everybody else play. And I watch you play, right? We stream the game. Watched you play. It was awesome. Man, like what a what a world. But it just didn't quite click for me. And that dodge parry thing, man, I, I always struggle with. So it just kind of keeps me out of the game as much as I would love to play the game. But taking the learnings from Dark Souls 2 is so important moving forward and then passing that off to other directors to then flourish their own vision this is a way to expand right now from soft could maybe move into a couple teams and have a couple projects on the go constantly they're already doing that right armor core elden ring and now we're getting dlc yeah. so they were starting to see them kind of branch out and expand as it is how much further does miyazaki want to go he wants to step back a little bit and pass it off maybe he has a secret project dude maybe he's like the next kojima and just has 20 Ooh. projects on the go, right? <laughs> He's like, I yeah, can't be everywhere I, at once, but I want this, I want to do this, and I want to do that. So Well, like, that might just be it very, very well, just splitting it into two projects on the, at the go, because I think they traditionally rotate through their projects, and I, that's why Armored Core is so spaced between releases, but yeah. this could be just that, exactly, they're starting up one other team for 
another kind of split the ideas. No, absolutely. It's always interesting to watch where Miyazaki goes next because everybody now, like, dude, the, the games they produce out of there from FromSoft, everybody watches with bated breath, right? Like, give oh, us world class. What's next? So yeah, it's it's held up there as one of the best AAA studios around. So we'll see what comes next. But yeah, you're ready because the Earth Tree coming in June.